Out if of Dick Grasso would have ran for president, China. we wouldn't have to be dealing with Donald Trump. Why aren't you out there? I saw you. You're pretty good at pressing the flesh, Dick. Charlie, Charlie, my goal is to have you as sanitation commissioner of the <laughs> oh city gosh. of New York. That means I'm running for mayor. Uh, so you are running for your announcing on our show right now. I won't deny it. <laughs> right. So you, so you, wait a second. Let's be clear here. You are saying that you're going to run for mayor of New York City. I am saying that if Charles Gasparino in January of 2018 is prepared to be sanitation commissioner, I, I, I'm prepared to run for mayor. Uh, listen, I think I will sacrifice my job for the, for the good of New York City if you want to become mayor. Well, you know, th there is a greater call here, Charlie, <laughs> and that is the call of the Fox Business Network. Well, what do you think the market's going to be back in, 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 at the, when you uh, become mayor of New York City? Where do you think the market's going to go <laughs> next couple of years? <laughs> well, let me say this. <clears throat> I think we'll sell a lot of New York City geo bonds. Hey, hey Dick, and, and can, can I ask you, do you think... And Joe said, go along the horses. <laughs> 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 Dick, is the, is, is, as we as we continue to look at this market rally this morning ahead of the open, do you think markets are 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 functioning right? Are are, are they uh, functioning efficiently? And, and and in the midst of the sell off, you know, Dagan, we were talking about the, these ETFs this morning. Are, are things looking normal to you in this sell off? I'll give you a simple answer. The answer is no. I mean, if you look at some of those prices yesterday in the first ten minutes of trading. I mean that's that's just unconscionable. Yeah. Have some some you know Apple at ninety two and ten minutes later it's a hundred and two. Yeah, but you miss your specialist. You're talking your book. No, 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 Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. I'm beyond that. I'm beyond that. I'm simply saying that with sixty different venues, where a stock like an Apple or a stock like any of the big listed stocks may trade. No one knows mm -hmm. what the last sale is, and that creates not a free market, but a free-for-all market. So, you, right. so your point would the be get rid of all these... No, no, no. The, all the these fragmentation markets. of the markets have gone too far. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Price discovery has suffered, mm -hmm. and the quality of markets have suffered. You have the blind pools. You don't have the appropriate price discoveries. So we've got to get rid of all and those dark no, pools? No, I think you need better rules. I think they could take I a note from the future. I think you need better transparency. Yeah, did, I, I think you need to know... If you're going to trade Apple in 60 different places, you need the certainty of knowing what the last yeah. sale is right. in one of those 60 places so that investors, and most particularly retail investors, who Joe has spent his whole life protecting and enhancing the wealth of, so retail investors can get a fair shake. And they got, you know, what it yesterday. You and got I'm it. editing because Dick and Joe, to both of you guys, there are some of these ETFs yesterday, dividend ETFs, multi-billion dollar ETFs, low volatility ETFs that opened down. They were down 45, 42, 40 percent yesterday. That's like a 7,000 point you, decline in the Dow. What do you think of that? I mean, uh, you know, Carl Icahn pointed out that Larry Fink is sitting, at, of BlackRock, is sitting on a bigger powder keg than any of this nonsense that Fink is bringing up about Carl being sh into short-term gains and, you know, activist investing. Do you think? Well, I think the issue with the ETFs is one of liquidity. Ultimately, you've got to be very concerned about liquidity. Mm -hmm. If they all run for the same exit, then, that's you're, what, real, then you're really going to have a yeah. problem, okay? Well, that's what, but, that's what Carl yeah, so, and the no, problem there is the, the individual investor is... who's been told to go to the ETFs yes. to avoid individual yeah. stocks. And yesterday morning, that was the exact wrong thing to do. It was there. a stack of when, limit orders. When the man on the phone. phone was running the New York Stock Exchange. The, the reality the is there is the no street. liquidity in the market today. The market is purely trend-focused, okay? Well, and internalization, Dick. When Dick was chairman... He said, okay, you want to internalize order flow? That means, Fine. That means match your buyers. That means, that means on, Goldman on the, Sachs can, yeah. can take the order instead of yeah. sending New York Stock Exchange. Right. Dick Grasso stood up and said, Fine, long as you meet the MBBO, the best bidder ask. Mm -hmm. They wanted to do it at a nickel better than the general public, saying that time is more important. That's nonsense. Those mutual funds are made up of individual investors. You, right. And by the way, Grasso would break your legs if you if, if Grasso you up. if Grasso was still head of the New York Stock Exchange, we would have a much higher quality in the markets today. Who is head of the New York right. Stock Exchange? Is that a criticism I don't even know the guy's name. That's, Char that's Charlie a, that's, is on to City Hall for us. Wait, wait, right. where, where is Joe going to be in this administration? Joe will be deputy mayor for economic development. Oh, okay. 
Oh, so he gets a higher title than me? Don't act so he's that, excited, that, Joe. That, that's an uptick from Sergeant of Arms. The last time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, thank you for to both of you for joining us this morning, Joe Grano and Dick Grasso. Thanks.